Hey guys. Hi, happy Monday, happy Labor Day. How's everybody? Oh, my comments aren't showing up. Hang tight, guys. Let me just get your comments up here so I can see you. Hi. Hey guys, where are you watching from? Oh, Jennifer, I just saw your comment about being in Florida. Thinking about you and hoping that you are not in the path of this monster hurricane. Hey guys. Um, welcome to two days before launch day. <laughs> um, launch week has been so much fun this time. So many, it's always so much fun, but, um, we just posted launch week bingo over on Instagram and you have to go and check it out because it's so much fun. It's one of my favorite things that we do for launch week because it's just so, it's just so us and it's so funny and you have to go see it. So go check out, um, it's on my, uh, Instagram, Emily Lay, and then also on Simplified. So go check that out and you can um, share Launch Day Bingo and then enter to win your um, Simplified Planner Bundle. Brittany, you're driving back now? A lot of our team is in South Florida, so we are thinking about them. And whew, the past two launch days, it's been hurricanes headed directly to me. Um, this time we're, we live in Pensacola now, so we are you're out of the, hopefully out of the woods, but thinking and thinking about and praying about everyone with this crazy hurricane. Be safe y'all. All right. So today we are talking about not my favorite topic, meal planning, because meal planning is hard. Um, it's so funny. My mom, <laughs> hold on. I got to read you what my mom said yesterday. <laughs> my mom sent me this message. First of all, my mom, y'all know Nina. She's so funny. My mom is like, the OG, like she's the queen of organizing. She taught me everything I know. Um, she's great, but she texted me and she said, I see you're doing a Facebook live on meal planning. <laughs> Send me all your notes. And I was like, it's hard for me, mom. That's why I'm okay talking about it because I get it. I don't know why, but meal planning is so daunting. And then last night she sent me this uh, meme that said, did you, she said, did you write this? And it says, who knew that the hardest part of being an adult is figuring out what to cook for dinner every single night for the rest of your life until you die? This is how I feel about it. Um, now, couple that with the fact that I fully believe that like mealtime is special, um, that that quality time with your family is so important and that like you can literally love someone with a dish, with a plate. I fully believe that. I that doesn't mean I like to do it, but I, I do it because I see the importance in it. I see the value in it and I like to eat. So, um, we're just going to dig in. This one's going to be super tactical. Now don't post them yet, but did y'all come with your links? I told y'all to come with your links so that you can share them, uh, of your favorite recipes. If you don't have one yet, go grab a link to your favorite easy weeknight, like Kind of healthy-ish, really easy to put together, family approved, that kind of thing. Um, and we're all going to share our links. And then this Facebook Live is going to serve as a resource. Um, Brittany, I saw you said <laughs> email planning is deciding before noon what to Uber eats to your house. <laughs> Amen. And let me just begin this by saying, there part of what's wrong with me and meal planning is that I come from a family of chefs. Like my mom and dad growing up, both love to cook, both cooked all the time, um, both worked full time outside the house. I mean, and they were just great at it. And then I became an adult and I was like, can I come to your house to eat? I'm not kidding you. Graduate school. And then, uh, I didn't leave our town for graduate school or college. So like graduate school. And then like the first year of me owning my own home, I would go to my parents' house almost every night and eat dinner. <laughs> not even kidding. And maybe this is why cooking is hard, uh, because I leaned on them a little too much. But then there's my brother. He's four years younger than me, and he's great. I mean, he sends us pictures on our group text all the time of his amazing things he's cooking. And they can do, like, a pinch of this and a little of that. And, like, look what I found in the pantry. We made this cool thing. Um, anyway, it's just the DNA did pass me by. I still call my mom and say, like, okay, like, exactly how do you grill a chicken breast? Like, what do I do? How many minutes? And, and I think I enjoy baking more than cooking because for me, baking is very like specific and it's like a little, you know, it's a quarter cup of this and half a cup of this and a teaspoon of that. 
And the way that cooking can be more like, you know, a pinch or a little bit. And I'm like, I need instructions. I need to know how not to mess this up. So I have a favorite, I have a couple favorite cookbooks and I actually brought them in here. So I'm going to share them with you. Um, they are easy and wonderful. And this is going to be my contribution to our link sharing. So go find your favorite recipe out there somewhere in the world, copy the URL, and then we're all going to share them here. I'll probably do that at the end maybe, um, because it'll be a lot of, a lot of long comments. Um, that way we can all, we can all keep going. All right. Where's the list? Hang on. So I want to talk to you. Y'all know there's two days until launch day. Yay. It's fall launch week. Mm. And I want to talk to you about one of the things that I have learned. Well, first let's talk about this. Let's talk about basics with the simplified planner, right? When I created the simplified planner, I created it simple on purpose so that you can use the space inside it for whatever you want. You may not use it for meal planning. You may use it for fitness tracking or gratitude journaling or just taking notes, that kind of thing. Um, I want to walk you through what we did. Now, if you're a weekly user, you know we did remove the meal planning box from the weekly simple, signature simplified planner, which was controversial. It was controversial, removing the, week, the meal planning box. But here's why we did it. Okay. Every year we sit down and look at the signature simplified planners and say, what can we remove to simplify it and make it more open to more people, make it still more purposeful and more useful, but allow more people to have more white space for their particular life, whatever that may look like. Right. They may not be meal planning. Um, what we did, so you can see that we have, hold on, probably going to have to turn the brightness down on this camera. You can see in the pages here a little bit, it's going to focus. This is a weekly and you can see that over here we have the schedule area and then the to-do list area. Right here, like this, if you are using your planner, your simplified planner for your day-to-day -day agenda and for meal planning, I would put the, what you're doing for your meal on the, bo on the bottom line of your schedule side, okay? So you have your little schedule over here, and then on the bottom line, you put your, what it is you're having for dinner, okay? I do it. It works. Well, actually, I do something different, but I did it. I'll tell you what I do um, in a few minutes, but that's how I would meal plan using the weekly. Um, then in the front of the weekly, the signature simplified planners, we have uh, four new notes pages. Now, the weekly also has notes pages in the back that you can use for whatever you want, but up here... Um, in the notes pages, there are so many lists that you can keep up here, a perpetual grocery list, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. Um, you can keep your go-to meals, like your list of tried and true favorites. That's another way to meal plan in this one. Another way that you can meal plan in the weekly or the daily or Dapper Desk is, um, maybe you're not planning by week, you know, with your whole week. Maybe you're planning because you're extra respect this by the way if you do this respect maybe you're planning by the month so you are meal planning dusty fess up dusty on our team does this and i'm always like show me your ways um but she will uh meal plan for the whole month at a time and it's flexible and you can you can you know move things around or change things but she would meal plan for the month here I haven't worked up the gumption to do it yet because I'm still sometimes struggling with my weekly meal plan, but I have aspirations. Okay. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it for the rest of September. Maybe. All right. So that's one way that you can do meal planning in that one. On the daily edition, we have, let me just show you the inside for anyone who doesn't know what it looks like my handy dandy little cart over here. Okay. In the daily, this is what the pages look like. It's real bright, but you can kind of see it, right? So you have your schedule on one side, your to-do list on the other side, and then a very open note space at the bottom. Again, we used to have a space for dinner here. This note space was split down the middle, but we decided to open it up so that you can use it however you want to use it. I still put would put my dinner over here on this side of the notes section, okay? And then you can put any notes or, or, you know, what cookbook, what page, or whatever in there. Okay, um, 
so here is what I do. And this is something that I started doing like late spring, early summer, and I swear I would never do it. And you may have heard me tell the story before, but I use two planners. I use two planners. I was going to bring mine in here, but I think I forgot it. Um, I use two planners. I use one for like my day-to-day -day planner where I'm keeping track of things I got to do that day. And then that's a daily. And then I'm using a weekly for just meal planning. Now, how did this come about? Basically, I was struggling with meal planning. And it was like in the school year when things get really busy, you know. Um, and I had a photo shoot that we had to do for our brand. And so I sat down with some blank planners that nobody had ever written in. And I gave myself permission, which is, sounds weird, but I gave myself permission to think through, like, how would I use this planner if I was going to use it specifically for one thing and not as my, like, day-to-day -day agenda, right? And I did things like fitness tracking, and I did things like um, meal planning, and monthly meal planning and weekly meal planning. So I, like, I mocked these up as to what they could look like if you were doing it that way. And I liked it so much that I thought, okay, I'm going to actually do this because I think that this could really, really be helpful to me. So in the weekly, the only thing I have in here on this side, I will have what's for dinner in this, sp in this space. And then on this side, it's real bright, but maybe you can see it. There's a ton of photos and videos on our website. Um, over here on the to-do list side for the day is the ingredients that I need for that meal. That's it. That's it. And it's so clean and like perfectly laid out. It's my grocery list. It's my walk through the kitchen and see what you got. Do you have this spice? Do you have this chicken? Do you have this whatever? Um, make sure you, you have all those things and then check them off if you do. And then that's your grocery list, right? I typically don't plan Saturdays and Sundays just because they either end up being like, we go out to eat or we go to a friend's house or we go visit my family or like, you know, I don't know, we do something weird. Or like on Sunday, it'll be like, let's go, let's run to the grocery store down the street and grab some burgers and we'll cook them. It basically just end up being kind of impromptu. And so I typically plan Monday through Thursday, okay? Fridays, we do pizza on the floor. Easy peasy, mom gets a night off, it's great. Uh, Monday through Thursday is what I plan. So I do that in there and then I use those days that I'm not planning as like the rest of my grocery list. So what do I need for kids' lunches? What do I need for all that stuff? Um, let me tell you that I went on a girl's trip last weekend with three other moms who have third grade boys and, um, it was so fun. And I just want to encourage you guys to do this in your own communities or we can even do this here. Like I just, we sat down and we were, we were just, we got two hotel rooms and we were like, got had a little getaway and we were sitting there uh, next to each other and had our planners out and our phones and one of the moms was like what do you what do you send for your kids for lunch like in their lunch boxes and I was like oh sometimes I do pasta salad like the bow tie pasta and then you get the Olive Garden dressing from Publix or just regular Italian we like the Olive Garden one um and you put in some parmesan cheese and some sliced green olives and maybe I'll throw in a little protein depending on what we have and I make this batch of pasta salad that's good for a couple days and I just throw it in there a little bent, we use the bent go lunch boxes and um, with, a, with a fork and then some other little things for lunch and that's their lunch. And all the other moms were like, that's awesome. I'm gonna do that. And I was like, is it? I just, that's what I do. And then one of the moms was like, oh, for breakfast we do, um, oh man, Kodiak, that's what they're called. They're called Kodiak protein waffles sometimes. And we'll get the chocolate chip ones. And the kids think they're great because they're chocolate chips. I think they're great because they have tons of protein and they're just super easy. And that's our, our breakfast sometimes. And I was like, oh, like that's awesome. I'm going to write those down because my kids love waffles. So it was just a super tactical conversation that like we don't have, right? We got so into it. We all sat there and meal planned our whole week together. Um, and I think we all did kind of the same things. We all did um, egg roll bowls. Um, we all did a Coke roast. Y'all know about a Coke roast? I ate this all the time growing up. You get a chuck roast, okay? Y'all write this down. This is a good one. You get a chuck roast, and you, it has to be a chuck roast, and you put it in the slow cooker, and then you pour on a can of Coke, and then you pour on, and it's like not that much sugar because it's one can, it's a whole thing, 
And then you pour on one packet of onion soup mix, and then you throw in whatever veggies you want, like onions, carrots, potatoes, whatever. You throw it in there, and then I cook it on high for eight hours, which is a long time, but it's still what I do. And it's like tried and true, super awesome. You have leftovers that you can use to make vegetable soup, and then you have leftovers that you can use, uh, or you have leftovers you can use to do like little sandwiches, and you do like the Hawaiian roll little sandwich thing. Another good thing, is using Hawaiian rolls. My kids love Hawaiian rolls. And I will, um, I think this is my mom's idea. You you take them out and you know how they're attached? It's like 16 or 12 or something. You take a knife and you cut it this way and like you don't separate them. And then you put ham and cheese and mustard or whatever on there. And then you put the top back on and then you, then you cut them and you have sandwiches. Brilliant for the week, right? Another thing my kids love, ham and cheese roll-ups. Those are fun. Um, yeah, so the, like that was our conversation, and I just thought, this is awesome. Like, why don't we have this conversation more of like who does what? I was like, do y'all buy pizza on Fridays for lunch? Because they're all they all go to the same school, and they were like, no, nah, sometimes and yes, yeah, sometimes and sometimes I send a banana for them, and I was like, oh, I should send a banana. That makes sense. It was just this back and forth of awesomeness. I thought it was great. Okay, in the kitchen, do I have an instant pot? Yes. Do I think I'm gonna blow my house up with it? Yes. So I don't use it much. Um, if y'all have any tips for me, I would love it. I do have an air fryer and it has been life changing. I had salmonella as a kid for like 11 months. And so I'm, I, I don't remember it because I'm tiny, but I, um, am like definitely afraid of raw chicken and raw meat at all. So, um, the air fryer has been awesome because you can just throw some things in and you hit go and it does it for you. Get chicken tenderloins and thaw them out, rub, put some mayonnaise on them, some like Seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning is so good from Trader Joe's or Publix has it now. Um, and you just throw them in there 400 for like 10 minutes. And it's like chicken, it's like chicken fingers, but it's not fried. It's so great. All right, y'all. I could sit here and share ideas with you forever. Let me just show you a couple of my favorite cookbooks. Um, and then I want to talk to you about those notes pages in the front of the Signature Simplified Planner that you can use for a couple different things. Um, tried and true favorite um, if you search our video library on our website, you can see a video interview that I did with Lisa Leak, who is the founder of 100 Days of Real Food, and it is such a great cookbook. So this cookbook to me is healthy. It's real food. Um, she walks you through her process of kind of removing a lot of processed foods from their diet, and it just has easy things in here, like easy weeknight meals, um, whole wheat spaghetti and meatballs. Super easy. There's a waffle recipe in here that we used to make all the time. Um, it was a whole wheat waffle recipe and it called for, I think it was, oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, 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 this is it. And you put bananas in it. Oh, there we go. So good. Love this one. This one's on Amazon and all the places. Then she came out with Real Food on a Budget, which is super awesome. It has so many just easy ideas. A lot of the ones in this one are things that you may have around your house that you can kind of throw together. Um, two more. We all know and love Skinny Taste. I love Skinny Taste because their recipes are health conscious, but they're also not super complicated. So One and Done is one of my favorites because this is for the Instant Pot, Slow Cooker, Air Fryer, Sheet Pan, Skillet, or Dutch Oven. So like one pan and you good. Maybe I should try an Instant Pot recipe from here. Yep. I feel like I would be good at the Instant Pot. I just, I don't know. We do a lot of sheet pan suppers in our house. So we do a lot of like, we have a, we have a lot of good seafood here in Prince of Bullocks. We live um, in, this, in this area. So we will do like shrimp on a sheet pan with roasted veggies. We'll do salmon on a sheet pan with roasted veggies. Um, it's really good. Really, really good. Sheet pans are super, super easy things. This is my new favorite one, Skinny Taste Air Fryer. And this one has so many good air fryer recipes. I'm a big air fryer fan. Um, okay, so four favorite cookbooks, that's it. One thing, when we talk about the notes pages in the front, let me get a daily because I showed you a bunch of the weekly. The four notes pages in the front of the Simplified Planners right here. Ah, hold on. There they are. You can see they're just blank notes pages. So a couple things you can use this space for. One of my favorites is to use it for 
a list of go-to meals. If you don't want to use that space, you can go to our free printable library on our site and print out a printable of your favorite go-to meals. It's a, a printable where you can write down your favorite go-to meals. These are meals that you know you can cook, they're super easy, family approved, and that kind of thing. Um, you can go and print that out there, or you can use your notes page, which is what I do, in that weekly I told you about for favorite go-to meals, right? So what I'll do typically is write down whatever the meal is, and then write down where, where I go find the recipe, because I don't remember recipes in my head other than the ones I told you. <laughs> that's like, that's all I got in my pocket. So I don't remember them. Um, I have to go find them. So I'll write down like skinny paste page, whatever. Um, that is great. Also, and this is so helpful, keep a perpetual grocery list. So this is a grocery list that you know you have to buy every single week or every other week or however often you're grocery shopping. You go and you write down like, you have to, and you have to sometimes think about it, like milk, eggs, bread, you know, obvious things. And then, you know, like my kids love waffles. So I'll put waffles on there. My kids love Chobani yogurt. So put Chobani yogurt on there. Um, write down all the things that you're typically getting one after the other. And it just removes that kind of thing from your brain so that you have more margin in your brain for other stuff. You don't have to constantly reinvent the wheel every time you're making a grocery list. You have it right there. Okay. Now. This is, a, this is a conversation that um, my friend and I, we had a, some friends over yesterday and I was talking to her about it and she said, it's kind of brilliant to go to your family as you're making these go-to meal lists and ask them what their favorite meal is. And I don't know why it was such a revolutionary idea to me, but I was like, oh yeah, like, especially my husband, like I, I know what my kids' favorite meals are for the most part, but Brian, I mean, he's a little, a little on the picky side, a little more than, than I am. And so like, first of all, what a great way to just like love someone. And then what a great way to just build a list that you can count on. It's not just out of your head. So if you have other people in your home that you're feeding, going to them and saying, tell me your favorite, your top two favorite meals. Now my, my argument back to her last night was, okay, but my, my kids are going to be like lasagna, mom. Lasagna takes forever. If you, if you have a simplified life, my mom's lasagna recipes in there. It doesn't take forever. It's just a little more involved than what I typically do on a weeknight. And she was like, that's okay. You ask them for more than one of their favorite meal and you have lasagna on there and you know for, you know, a special night you do that. Or for if you get a while there and feel like spending, you know, a little bit longer in the kitchen, you have it. So make a list of go-to meals, but get input from other people so that you know every single one of them is tried true and approved. Again, common sense, I guess, but I had just not thought of it. Like I kind of thought, okay, Jessa, <laughs> Jessa said he don't eat green. Okay. Y'all, he doesn't, he does not, he's not like vegetables. He, he will eat salad and he will eat cucumbers, but he is the, by far the pickiest around. We, we love him anyway. Mm. All right. Um, again, you don't have to be Martha Stewart when you're cooking. And this is something I run into. I often think when it's time to cook dinner, I have to compete with my mom and my dad and my brother who are incredible cooks or whoever I saw on Instagram who made something fantastic. I follow a bunch of people on Instagram who's, I love to, you know, see what they do. And I often get ideas from it, but what I do is just not as involved. There's no shame in a peanut butter and jelly dinner. There ain't no shame in that. There is no shame in sometimes having breakfast for dinner. We do that probably once a week. Um, there is no shame in like, <laughs> at one of my girls weekend, we had this conversation of egg roll bowls, love egg roll bowls. Um, but I was like trying, I was chopping the cabbage every single time I was chopping the, like I was doing all the things and it felt a little more involved to me than what they were doing. They were like, no, like you can buy bagged organic, like chopped cabbage and it's great and it's awesome. Now, do I still sometimes chop it up because it's just more cost effective and makes more sense? Absolutely. But sometimes it's okay to opt for something a little more convenient. And I think a lot of times we tell ourselves it's not okay because we have to be everything and do everything. Um, and I, I love Brenda. I love what you just said. Would I make a lasagna? I always make two. Um, yes. Um, one for dinner and one for the freezer. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor's married to my brother and Taylor says, Emily makes a mean charcuterie. I make a mean charcuterie board. 
Also, that's a completely appropriate dinner too. You get your protein, you get some veggies on there, you get some fruit. A charcuterie board, my kids love it. I'll just put a big board out and this is the best way to clean out your fridge and your pantry. All those things that are, that are you know, getting close to we might not be able to have them tomorrow or the next day, they're good. You put them out, you do berries and nuts and meats and cheeses and it's awesome. And your kids think it's so cool because they can pick, right? Um, also, there is a recipe that I was telling my friends about, um, oh, I forget it. I have to post it on Instagram or something. It's, I think it's Pioneer Woman, but it's a, it's a meat sauce for spaghetti or whatever. And my mom, when she makes it, she'll make extra and bring me some. And I put it in my freezer. You store it in a Ziploc bag flat in your freezer. And then you have it for whenever. Freezer, I mean, we make muffins and put them in the freezer. So like, that kind of thing, so helpful for when you're, especially when you're on the go. Um, okay, let's see what else. Um, okay, I think we covered everything I had written down on my list. So I would love for you guys, number one, if you have questions about meal planning, about the launch day, about signature simplified planners, anything, feel free to post them in the comments. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to share your links. And then um, I'm going to not forget to choose our winners today. I forgot yesterday and had to come back on and post them. Um, we are going to give away your choice of a signature simplified planner, a weekly or a daily, in any cover option that you would like. And then we're also going to give away four of our adorable bee hats. So let me grab my handy dandy little tote here. Have y'all seen this? How cute is this? This is our launch day survival kit. You can, this is something I make for our team for launch day because launch week and launch day are busy for Team Simplified. Um, we work toward them all year long, planning all these fun lives and emails with free printables and all the fun things. Um, but make sure you enter to win the launch day survival kit because you can win all kinds of cute stuff. And I just wanna show you one thing that's part of it. You can click the link to go see it. Um, but this is, it's a size medium, so you can keep it or give it. This is a, a this is our little pineapple on a North Face pullover. It's so cute. And I'm going to be wearing this on launch day, even if it's 100 degrees. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Do, <laughs> I match the tote. This dress is from J. Crew, but I love it. It's my favorite. Okay. Um, so make sure that you've commented here with something so that we can potentially choose you. And then, let me see. Um, oh man, oh here we go. <laughs> okay, Dusty, if you wanna send over any questions, and then um, I would love for you all now to share your links. So share your links to your favorite easy weeknight meals. I guarantee you I'll be going through these links later to see all of your favorites. Um, I shared with you guys some of mine, but I'll pop on later and try to post some links to some of them, especially to the cookbooks because they are, um, because they are so awesome. Okie dokie. Someone asked, um, what is the print behind me? The print behind me is from Gray Malin and it says, I am busy and it's made out of balloons in the ocean. I love it. Like. I, well, like, what does it mean? I am busy. I am enjoying the ocean and hanging out and relaxing, and that equals, that can equal busy, right? Oh my gosh, I love all of your links. Thank you guys so much. Cookie and Kate, I heard that's a great one. I love to follow Define Dish. Um, I, I try and eat, like, low-carb-ish, high fat, higher fat-ish. I wouldn't call it keto by any stretch, but um, that's kind of how my body like feels its best. And so I love following people who are whole 30 people or, or that kind of thing. Um, love it. Yay. Okay. I'll share the meat sauce recipe later when I can find it. I might have to ask Nana for it. And then I'll share some of the cookbooks too. Um, someone asked if I add something to my cart tomorrow, will it still be there on launch day? No, I don't think so. So the way that launch day happens is we, tomorrow we're going to do a Facebook live all about the, uh, our favorite pens. And it's going to be not my face in the camera. It's going to, we're going to tr like say hello and then turn the camera so that you can watch and I'll test some pens on our beautiful Mohawk paper inside our signature simplified planners. And then um, on 
launch day eve which is tomorrow night oh my gosh i can't believe it's so soon we will take the website down around evening time and team simplified will get in on the back end and we will get the site ready so populate all the products build the inventory in there and make it nice and pretty for y'all for launch day and then on launch day at 9 45 a.m eastern time i'm central so i'm always like is that right 9 45 a.m eastern time we are gonna hit go on a facebook live and hit go on a phone with instagram live and hang out with y'all for like 15 minutes while we kind of dance around the office and get excited and my kids are going to be here with their team simplified kids sure all the team simplified kids are going to have them um and we will hit the big red button to launch these simplified planners dapper desk and our happy home art print collection out into the world you can go to our website now and see everything and um you watch videos you can take a quiz to see which planner is best for you um, there's so many fun things that you can do over there all right winners okay wait before i forget this afternoon i forget what time but this afternoon we're going to email you the video recording of this we're also going to email you um team simplified each of us chose our favorite recipe favorite weeknight recipe and we type them up for you nice and pretty and you're gonna get a printable of eight recipes from, from us. And you can print them out and have them for your meal planning. These are our like number one tried and true, easy peasy, awesome recipes. So go and make sure on our email list so that you can enter to win that. And then if you are watching this recording off of Facebook and we emailed this out to you and you're just watching it in our video library, pop over to Facebook and find this because in the comments, you're gonna see, I mean, I've seen tons of awesome recipes floating by in the comments. We would love for you to go and, and check it out there. But um, those recipes will be emailed out this afternoon. Somebody said grilled cheese and tomato soup. Yes, yes girl, that was a good one. <laughs> this is awesome. Pioneer Woman's Ultimate Nachos, by the way, are maybe my favorite food. All right, um, I'm gonna do winners really quick because I don't wanna forget. And then I have some questions. If you are a winner today of any of these prizes, I want you to email taylor at emilylay.com, T-A-Y-L-O-R, uh, by the end of the day. And we put a time limit on it because we gotta keep the ball rolling with all we have going on with launch week. But we have um, a, sim a signature simplified planner for Danita Henry. And then we have a B hat for Mez Davidson, Emily Nicole, Kristen Cooley, and Christina Dilworth. So if we called your name, make sure that you email your shipping address to taylor at emilylay.com. Uh, Danita, for the Simplified Planner, make sure you let Taylor know which one you'd like. Okie dokie. Yay! Oh, one more thing. If you want more about meal planning, go over to our blog and Dusty on our team, who many of y'all know, she has four kids, and she's a crazy good cook like makes the best pizza I've ever had. Um, go over there and she wrote a post for us all about easy meal planning when you're going back to school, like back to school time. So easy stuff. And it was so good and it was so popular. It was like, like we got an, we got an alert from our, um, our website hosting people that was like, this is one of the top 10 blog posts of the past. I don't even know what. So Go and look at that because it's a really, really good post with lots of good things and links to a lot of really good recipes. Um, all right, Dusty, speaking of you, thanks for sending me these questions. Um, will you restock any sellouts on launch day minus the planner? So we do not restock simplified planners because they take forever to make and because we don't want to overprint. Does that make sense? So we are a debt-free company. We have been since day one. And so we print what we can. We, we do our best to guess and make sure we, we have enough. Um, so we don't restock anything dated, anything that's evergreen. So not dated, typically we will restock. Um, and sometimes it just takes a while. Like our happy stripe pens are sold out right now and it just takes a while to remake those. Um, what time does the email go out? It should go out um, we have a couple things we always have to do. We have to get this video onto our website and it takes a little while to convert. So it'll be a couple of hours, but we'll send it out this afternoon. Do you take the weekly planner to the grocery store with you? Show do. Yep. 
just take it along, take it along with you. Uh, sometimes, like maybe half the time with groceries, I'll use Shipt. Um, it's a grocery delivery service and it's awesome. It honestly saves me money because it's less like impulse buying off the shelves when I'm there. Um, but yes, yes, definitely not. I'll take it with me. And then like, I get a lot of satisfaction of crossing things off. And then um, best stickers to use for marking meals in your planner. So here's what I do. And I don't, I don't typically use a ton of, I mean, I, I will use stickers and things like that sometimes, but sometimes I'm just in a hurry and I don't use a ton. With the meal planner though, I do because it's so clean and visually laid out. Like I just love having this. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. These are our flag stickers. Okay. And we have photos of this on our website and on our social media. If you want to see exactly how I do it in my planner, I will put like, okay, <laughs> y'all are going to laugh at me. Hold on. Let me tell you how to do it. All right. So like, let's say Wednesdays, Wednesdays in our weekly planner are turquoise. Okay. So I will take a turquoise flag and put it just above what's for dinner. Like this is the most important thing. And then sometimes if I feel a little crazy, I will use these little color coding dots on the ingredients or like things I may need to make sure I get or things to check or that kind of thing. Again, I don't, I don't go super over the top with it, but sometimes it's a little fun, right? Um, yes. So an example of meal planning in the weekly, I will, I think we posted it to Instagram, right? I think it's on Simplified. Or um, I'll post it in my stories this afternoon so you can see it, okay? Because we do have awesome photos of it. Okay, I did the winners. I did the questions, making sure I did everything right. Um, thank you guys for joining me today. It was so much fun. I am going to hop off here and then I will be back on at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Instagram Live to uh, answer any questions you have. So if you're curious about which planner is best for you or which cover fits your style or that kind of thing, go and take our quiz on our website. Um, but also join me this afternoon and I'm happy to walk through any of those decisions with you. Um, we don't want to just sell you a planner. We want to be there with you for the life of it. So I'm happy to work through that with you. Also going to be emailing you um, starting about four weeks after you purchase your planner um, coaching in your inbox from me. It's a video and then also some, just some email stuff, some freebies, sometimes coupon codes and that kind of thing. We want to be with you through the life of your planner. We want you to be part of this community. We call it a sisterhood for a reason. So, um, we're glad you're here and I will see you guys on Instagram live. And then tomorrow is our ultimate pen test part three. So I'm actually going to run to the store and try to find some zebra pens Y'all know what this is? Taco Bowls, by the way, Shauna, Taco Bowls is my recipe in the printable today. Yeah, that's my favorite. Um, the, what are the zebra pet? Zebra? Zebra pet? Zebra midliners or something? I have it written down, but y'all keep talking about this pen that I need to go look at. So I'm going to get some so that we can test them tomorrow, but I have 17 different brands of pens that we're going to test tomorrow. Okie dokie. These are, the pen tests are some of our most viewed whiskey flags. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great Labor Day, and I will see you tomorrow when we have one more day until launch day.